Hey, so just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to do a fault current for a generator. I have been using this SKM power tools and um, so uh, I have a generator here modeled already. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go over what is required what numbers or what uh, units constraints are required to calculate it fault current is important to it's similar to short circuit so you want to do the, the studies to have a safer uh, buildings and safer power distribution system so you don't get fires and panel boards and stuff so yeah uh, so first of all you want to know KWs you can put in KWs I already have this already done I know my voltage KWs my power factor poles um, no so to get some of the data we we need to get it from generator manufacturers like saturated power unit impedance uh, I get this from all this data from power or the generator provider. Uh, and then this is super important, transient and steady state saturated impedance. Uh, you want to get the numbers for XD prime and TD double prime. Um, so time. Uh, Make sure to check your unit. Sometimes they give in seconds. In PDW, they want in milliseconds. So check that, and that's all you need to do a calc. Uh, it's complete, and then you put. So I want a fault current after the generator. So right now, see it's zero right now. Uh, so this could be a panel. So let's do a quick run. Um, we got it at 10. So right here, it's 10K or 11K if you round it up. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's a quick little intro to on how to do a generator short circuit analysis. Thanks, have fun.